adults with learning disabilities are twice as likely to be sexually exploited, but experts say people are unaware of the issue. A new scheme to help vulnerable adults spot the signs themselves before it's too late has now been set up in Devon. It's funded by Comic Relief and it's thought to be the first of its kind in the country. Sophie Pierce has been taking a look. So we're going to show you some real examples of sexual exploitation. And we've drawn up a couple of little plays about real cases. Helping each other. In this scenario, the risks are played out by people with learning disabilities to their peers. Mary, you know I love you. And you're very pretty. And you're very pretty. My friends think so too. My friends think so too. They'd like to have sex with you. They'd like to have sex with you. No. We've heard before about people being befriended by those who want to take advantage of them by, say, stealing their money. Well, they're open to sexual exploitation too. This young woman was sexually assaulted by a taxi driver who befriended her. We've disguised her identity and her words have been voiced by an actor. He gave me flowers, gave me this, gave me that. And then he took me on a trip to the moors. He took me to the pub and gave me a drink. And then in the car, he, he tried to do things on me. He was touching me in places I didn't want him to. I just felt numb. People have such a, a need and a desire for friendship, um, and that need or desire is very, very easily exploited by somebody who's in that kind of business. The programme also focuses on what makes a good relationship. Darren and Sarah have been going out for a year. Talk to me about Darren. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> um, like Darren. I like him. Handsome. Handsome man. She's very beautiful. What? It, what? It, what's your relationship like? Very good. What do you get up to together? We we look after each other. We spend a lot of the time in the workshops talking about what does a good relationship looks like. If people know what a good, good relationship looks like, they're less likely to have a bad relationship and they're less likely to mistake the two. The scheme's now being rolled out across the South West. Sophie Pierce, 